Are you ever talking to those people and they just can't learn to leave well enough alone after you've already owned them multiple times? Well, that's Chucky for you. This time Chucky's come to me as a prophet, being able to use methods of astrology to tell the future. He can apparently predict the economy through looking at sunspots. So let's take a look at the claim that Chucky goes on to make here. Chucky says, you said astrology was bullshit. Well, how now, brown cow? The sunspots are still out since 2004. We're still in an economic depression. Funny how one thing over there can impact one thing over here. Crash in October next year. You can see it come for yourself. Obama be, will be remembered as the biggest epic fail in history, and through no fault of his own. Okay, well, the Obama comment doesn't make any sense, because if it's no fault of his own, then how can it really be a fail? But you say the sunspots are still out since 2004. Now, what the hell can that mean? Let's say that that means that there are have been sunspots since 2004. Or he could even possibly mean there have been no sunspots since, since 2004. So let's take a look at actually the sunspot cycle and what's so special about 2004. Okay, there, there you've got sunspots for the last for the last 60 years. Do you see anything special about 2004? Does it look like anything? No. Okay. How about uh, just in, in the last 10 years. Okay, and 2004. Where's 2004? Oh, right. What, what's so special about 2004? Nothing. Nothing is. It's such an epic fail, Chucky. Why do you... Why would you think that something like the cycle of sunspots would have an effect on something that is so personal, personal and social and varied as economies. Why would that have a direct correlation to sunspot cycles? See, your problem is you want there to be these, these amazing answers to things, but you can never propose a mechanism for them working. Just like this awesome article that you, that you found uh, a few weeks ago about scientists have discovered a new source. Now we're going to have to rewrite all the science books and everything. And yet, the one part that you won't believe of it is that it's 10 billion times weaker than gravity. The only way they could measure such a thing is to measure it to such a high degree that they can see that small amount of error or change in it. It has to be that weak, or we wouldn't have been able to measure it. We wouldn't have noticed anything existed. You just, before you jump to conclusions, try to actually think things through. You won't look like such a dumbass. Well, until next time, everyone else, peace.